Ashley here and we are at the official premiere of Life After Fighting. I wrote, directed, produced, starred in. I am not going to lie, mate, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I wanted to seamlessly integrate all the different styles that I've trained in. From Muay Thai to Taekwondo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, the Filipino martial arts, the Jeet Kune Do. I wanted to bring that together in a seamless integration. I wanted it to be not too far fetched from reality. I wanted it to be brutal, fast paced. Now, one thing we're going to get accused of, Nathaniel, is speeding up these fights. But me and my guys, we worked so hard at these. Some of these fights are actually improvisations in the moment. Punches came, kicks came, and they were blocked. But what I can surely tell you is nothing is sped up. This is real time, real speed, and boy did we bring it. One of the main reasons that I wrote this script was to also bring awareness to child trafficking. I was back in the States when we were living there and it was Child Trafficking Day and there was not enough awareness brought to it. A few celebrities made posts, including myself, but no one came out as loud as they should have about it. So I hope that this movie really shines a light on it, draws attention to it and it helps keep our children safe all around the world. I'm Cassie and I'm here for the premiere of Life After Fighting. She's a mother to a young son who she loves dearly and she's in for a bit of a ride throughout the film. She goes on a bit of a journey. She's pretty strong-willed but also has a real softness to her um, and a real maternal side. Just wait for the action. That's what it's such a highlight and it's throughout the whole film so it's fantastic. My character is Samuel, he's one of the lead character's students and he's a police officer. Well I train with uh, Brent Foster, well, he's my Taekwondo master so he said oh, I've got a film, I've got a role for you so be keen, I was like yeah 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 I'll do it. I was able to do it because I had my own stunt team. I had Jimmy, I had Jalen, I had Nick, I had Matthew, I had Jordan and we brought it together and we trained our asses off. We worked on this for six months to get it where we wanted to get it. Yeah, we're so close to Hong Kong, but Hong Kong has a style. Hong Kong has a flavor. This is new. I think we've got a new flavor. We've got our very own, let's call it Australian flavor for high drama, high action. And this is the first of many to come, I hope. Make it here, you know, use our talent, use our, from everything, from the cast, crew, stunties, the fighters. It's just fantastic to see us using so many Australians. I'd love to see Australia making more martial arts films, uh, kung fu films, all of it, because we've got some great martial artists here, great actors, and um, yeah, I think we're, we're sort of missing out. Right now, Australians' best talent always end up going overseas. Why do we have to do that? The industry needs to get behind Australian-backed projects, the associations, the film groups, they need to support Australian film. We've got the talent, we've got the expertise, we've got the know-how here. Let's facilitate the industry here. Let's build it here, let's make it grow here, so we don't have to live overseas anymore. Excuse me, sir. When can we get home?